What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is John, Backwoods Off-Road and Overlanding, and this is going to be a pretty short video here. I'm actually going to skip my intro, and we're going to just jump right into this. Uh, as If you guys have been keeping up with my, with my channel here, I've been working on getting together some toolkits for our bikes, and I've got, I've got two kits here ready to go and I will be sell these will be for sale I will leave a link to uh, the website below in the description here where you can go and check it out and all that good stuff but I, I wanted to get a video out to you guys to show you what we're working with and uh, this is gonna be the backwood starter kit guys so this will be uh, I know you know our 300 L's your 450s man Honda just doesn't give us good toolkits we get two Two, two good Allen wrenches, so this is going to be a good start. Add your two Allen wrenches to this, and I, if it was me, I'd add a good, like, multi-tool, like a Gerber Leatherman, you know, your choice of a good little multi-tool, nice little cutting tool, and, you know, maybe a boo-boo ouch kit or whatnot, but um, without further ado, let's dig into it, guys. Uh, like I said, these are both, I got two kits ready to go, working on some more all-inclusive kits. More to come, we'll make a video here. First off, we've got a nice, nice Apache 550 case here, guys. It is, let's see, approximately nine and a half by five and a half by two and a half. Man, our total weight here with the tag, we've got two pounds, 8.2 ounces. So, man, very nice, man. You could cinch this to about any anything on your bike. Man, our 300 L's, you could probably cinch this straight to the back fender. Um, easily fit in any pannier bag case you've got, backpack. I mean, this is pretty light, pretty pretty portable. Uh, it's it's, it's shockproof, dustproof, waterproof, all that good stuff. Uh, so let's go ahead with, without further ado, let's dig in and see what we got. We'll save the good stuff here for last. Uh, here's a little freebie I'm throwing in. Nothing special, guys. Um, it's just a little five hour runtime flashlight. Um, this is just something, you know, you keep flashlights out in the weather and whatnot, and you don't bring it inside, you know, it builds up corrosion. So you're not losing much on this. This is just a freebie I'm throwing in. Um, so let's see, we've got 25 foot of mechanics wire here. This is for your, some good repairs. We've got a nice little mini roll of electrical tape, man, that comes in handy for repairs, repairs. We've got, hell, I might throw in some more of these zip ties here, guys. But, man, we've got a good here assortment of some nice zip ties. What we've got, what size zip ties are these? These are what, uh, what, three, what, four-inch zip ties. And then we've got, what's that, eight-inch zip ties. So, uh, good number of zip ties here. Do a lot of repairs, guys. Man, these are, these are a must-have when you're out riding. And, like I said, this is a starter kit, something to get you started. And then, of course, man, if you got to work on something, man, we've got these Duke Cannon uh, cooling field towels. Man, get you cleaned up when you're done having to work on something. So this is great. Um, even if you're not working on something, guys, you man, you get out there riding. I know when we, when we went out riding old Oaky Woods, I wasn't too bad dusty, but, man, I got a lot of clay on me. So this will get you cleaned up, get you cooled off. So now let's, uh, let's get into the good stuff here. Man, good shot of the box. Man, you can really, you can really fit a good amount of stuff in here. So now let's dig into this tool roll here. So this is going to be catered to our 300Ls, 250L, uh, 450L, you know, like I said, starter kit. We've got a nice crescent tool roll here. Uh, we've got a, we've got a six millimeter. We've got an eight. We've got a nine. We've got a 10. Remove the 11. You didn't. We don't need an 11 millimeter for anything on our bike. Uh, so we've got a 12 and we've got a 13. So with removing what we don't need here, that allows us to add a nice little locking pliers. Man, and man fits great in the 13 spot, guys. So let's get. Let's not buy what you don't need and let's buy what you need. Get everything back up in here. And man, we can even probably roll these zip ties up in here nice too. Let's see how that works. Let's see how that looks. I'm gonna get this together here. Boom, boom, boom. I hear some pitter patter behind me. All right, hey baby. Get it rolled up. Man, very compact. 
man, man, you can't beat that. Look at that. Perfect. Throw that in there. Throw that in there. And then we've got plenty of room to add, man. Nice little, I don't have anything laying around here, man. Yeah, you can add your multi-tool, your boo-boo kit, whatever you, whatever else you want to add here, guys. Or you can throw this in another bag, take it with you, and then use this, this nice waterproof, dustproof box for something else, guys. You know, who knows? Who knows? But like I said, I got two kits ready to go. Uh, the only difference here in this second kit, uh, so if you, you go to the website below, you could actually make a choice. And actually, I kind of I color coded my zip ties here with my with my with my electrical tape. So I got green with green zip ties. This one's got yellow with yellow zip ties. And we're also going to give you guys a choice here. Um, I know some people have a preference, um, and I kept that in mind. So if you got a preference, uh, this one here, we've actually got a nice needle set, needle nose locking pliers, guys. So we've got the the regular jaw locking pliers as an option. And then we also have the needle nose locking pliers as an option. And we'll get this bad girl rolled back up. And nice tool roll, guys. Nice canvas. Plenty of room to add, you know, anything else you need. But like I said, this is this is a starter kit to get you started. And hopefully it'll be uh, budget friendly for a lot of you folks. And we'll get this put back together here. And man, at about two pounds. Man, you could throw that in your backpack. Man, I don't know if I throw this on my front fender. This might be a little bit, a little bit too much weight for that front fender. So, um, with that being said, that's all I've got, guys. So, got two kits for you guys ready to go. Go check out the website below. Um, if you've got any recommendations and whatnot, let me know. I've got a, a big order of uh, tools coming in. Hopefully, they'll be in by in by the end of the week, and then we'll jump into some. We'll jump into some bigger kits. We'll jump into some bigger kits. And then we'll also, we're also working on guys, the Backwoods Trail Jack. And we'll also have uh, two versions. We're going to have the OG version. I might make a mini one. And we also might have a 1.0. So I'm definitely, I definitely got some ideas here. And we'll have a few versions of our Trail Jack available here very soon. So make sure you go to the website and mark it as, uh, I'm probably not in the frame. Go to the website below, guys. Mark it as your favorites. Bookmark it because, man, like I said, 2022, big things are coming, guys. So hope you enjoyed the video. Enjoy the content, all you subscribers out there. And, man, check it out. You might like it. Thanks for watching.